Hello everybody, today I'm going to show you how to set up Mach 3 with the full spectrum engineering laser. So when you install Mach 3, you'll have this icon on your desktop called Mill. So what you want to do is you want to go to it, right click, select properties, then change this to say laser fast. Or change this to say laser PWM. So laser fast and laser PWM are explained on our website. Basically, with fast mode, you can control the laser and engrave much faster, but you lose PWM control. With PWM, then Mach 3 uses the spindle on and off feature, but every time you turn the spindle on, or turn the spindle off, it takes about a tenth of a second. So this is annoying, and um, you'll need to play with it to see what you prefer. So we give you both options and two configuration files, laser PWM and laser fast. So right now, I'm going to call it laser PWM and hit apply. Then I'm going to rename this as laser PWM. Then I can click on it and copy it and paste it. And I do the same thing, but put fast. So now I have a fast and a PWM. So I rename it laser fast. So if I double click on it, I'll start up Mach 3. And here I'll give a demonstration. So if I use M3, this will turn the laser on. If I use M5, this will turn the laser off in PWM mode. To set the power, we use S1000 for 100% power or we can use S100 for 10% power, or S10 for 1% power. So S10 will set 1% power, M3 will turn the laser on, and you can see the spindle will turn on, and this will activate the laser. So inside the configuration, if we go to config, then general or ports and pins, we can see the motor outputs. In PWM mode, the spindle will be enabled, so this will be green. In the fast mode, the spindle will be disabled. This is the X. So you want to double check this is actually set in your configuration file, and then you want to save it uh, so that you have future settings. So basically, if the spindle is enabled, then you can turn the spindle on and off with M3 or M5. If you turn it off, then we can turn the laser on by typing E1, P1. This will turn the laser on with no delay. We can turn it off with E1, P0, and this will turn it off with no delay. So it's a balance of uh, what you want to do. If you want to go very fast with no delay, then you want to use the laser fast with no spindle. And if you want to just do very detailed PWM work, then you want to leave the PWM power troll on. That's all for now. Visit our website at fullspectrumengineering.com slash CO2 laser underscore tutorial for more instructions.